Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be creating another video using Canva.com and we're going to be creating infographics. If you're not quite sure what Canva.com is, it's a wonderful site so you can be a graphic designer yourself and put all of your imaginations to life. So if you're designing a Facebook post, an Instagram story account, if you're designing a CV, if you're designing business cards, flyers, posters, t-shirts, coffee cups, it doesn't matter. Whatever you're doing, you can do it with Canva.com. Canva.com does offer 30 days for their pro features free of charge. So check that out and you can check that in the link in the description below. So click on that and while you're there, do subscribe, drop a comment, let me know what you will see and check out some of our previous videos to see what else we can do to help you and kind of refresh your memory on how to be the professional that you were born to be. All right. So as I said, we're going to be creating a infographics design today. So of course, I'm going to do templates. And if you watch any of our other videos, you know that I love templates. You've heard me say it. So making the template, you can kind of look at it and you can create a blank page to kind of get an idea. It's really going to get you alive and feeling wonderful and really confident in your designs. So let's take a look, shall we? So uh, coming here, uh, you see the Canva uh, logo here, the home. You can click here to go home. Uh, here in templates, going over to marketing, just under flyers, going to infographics. You'll select infographics, and you're going to see what they have. Now, you can choose by the category. The categories are business, timeline, charity, process, and education. If you want to go through theme, you can do illustrations, pink, science, process, and the styles. You can do infographics, illustrations, simple, photo, and minimalist. You can select more than one. You can even get them based on the color. So, all right, let's take a look. So if you remember, if you are just kind of browsing through and you're like, oh, that's pretty cool, I like that one. Hit the heart, save it to likes, and you can come back later when you finally are ready to make a decision. All right. So coming through, coming through, the importance of literacy, empathy, right? We can do all of these here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Climate prevention. All right. Let's see. Leading a healthy lifestyle. All right. Let's find one. Sugar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rules. Classroom. All right. So we're going to change some of these up. We're going to find... Let's go, because there's so many, there's so many hard choices to do. And that's why I do recommend to actually save them and go to your likes so you can come back to them a little later on. All right. The brief history of sports. <laughs> Let's go to classroom rules. Let's do that. The school starting, school's picked up. We're going to do this. Let's load and then we shall get started. All right. So we have everything loaded in and we have our template. Of course, you've heard me say too, I have really bad eyesight. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to do so by the sliding bar. And there we go. Now I can kind of scroll up and see and this, everything's a lot closer. All right. So you can see the blue line on the outside of it. It's the borderline and anything that I scroll over is a element and those are all customizable. So we can look at those. Let's see, how many rules are there? There's seven. If you want to do it how I had stated before, like a blank page and just kind of like copy the design some kind of, just hit add page and it adds a page with the same color background. So don't worry. All right, so I'm going to select on this because now that we have two pages, we need to select one that we're going to be working on. So I'm going to be working on the template to really, to really kind of show you guys how to do everything. So don't worry. All right. So, of course, as always, we want to click on the classroom technology agreements. Uh, this is a classroom technology agreement, so we're obviously working for a classroom. Uh, we pledge to follow the classroom technology agreements and show that we are positive uh, digital students. Okay, all right, you see this? Uh, we, this is a picture. Maybe you like this, maybe you don't. Uh, the same for the font. If I want to change the font to this, I'm not going to change any writing today, uh, but I'm going to show you how to change the fonts and colors. So I'm going to double click because sometimes if you just click this and you don't double click, if you hit the backspace, it will delete. So be sure to double click where it highlights everything. All right, I'm going to make it a little smaller, just like that. 
right? And I'm going to drag it by clicking once and dragging up. All right, now double clicking this and I can change the color to something different. Like a pink or I can do like a red. And there we go, there's the red. Uh, I don't want to do red necessarily because I want to save that for the rules. Uh, I do want to make it like a blue though. There we go. All right, and we can do like a yellow. Right, very hard color to see. And that's a good point to make it bold and make it a little bit bigger. All right, there we go. The same for the background. If you don't like the purple background, double click on the background. And once you do, you can see that you have animate and the purple color, and you can see that it's outlined. Click on that, and we can choose something like this. All right, now you see, right? All right, fantastic. So now we change this first part. Maybe you don't like that picture, maybe you do. I don't, I'm going to delete it. So I select it one time and I'm hitting backspace. Now this is exactly what will happen if you do this when you're trying to edit the text, All right? So you see if I hit delete now, it will delete it. So double click and I wanted to change the font on this one. Uh, uh, there we go, let's change it to this. There we go, and you can see now I'm going to make this a little like that. There we go. And it's going to help me in a moment with pictures too. All right, now when you're wanting to find this element, like how we just seen, go to the elements, go to the uh, search bar, we can say technology, right, type in some like your theme, and let's see what it has right here. Oh, that's cool. It's a brain. I'm going to drag it and kind of see what it looks like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, so I'm going to select that one. But just for, I mean, we're going to change all of them, so we're going to kind of stay in this theme, so don't worry. Uh, and I want to make just a little bit smaller, too. There we go. And all right, there we go. Now I have my element. All right, so you can edit the image, and when you do so, you can like adjust. Uh, you can see all the adjustments you can do uh, as well, uh, and you can change all of these. Uh, so you can crop it, you can flip it. If you don't like the, where that's at, select it, and you can go to flip, and you can kind of change what way it's facing. But because it's facing, I want everything to be facing the uh, the font on this. So I want you to be able to see exactly this. All right, so we have that. We have our picture for the first. All right, now let's go back to elements. And I'm going to go back to technology. All right, there we go. All right, now we have that. All right, now I told you I wanted to change the font color to red for the rules. So I'm going to change that color to red. Okay, the same We We hold our device with two hands. I'm going to, I am going to add something here. Device is because you might have more than one. All right. Now there's two elements here. You see that? You have this picture of the computer, right? And this. Now you can change that color too if you want to change the color for that uh, to something like this. Uh, but I am actually not going to have it, so I'm going to delete it. And you can right click and delete those as well uh, aside from that. Now I'm going to now go to shapes and I'm going to go to shapes and I'm going to change the shapes that I have. So let's scroll down, let's scroll down. And you can see there's different shapes that you can use uh, for these as well. Uh, <laughs> so let's see. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty of a simple guy, so I'm going to scroll up here. All right, now it stays that red because that's my custom color. And I'm not going to use that either, so I'm just going to delete. Just to change that up, change the color a little bit. Maybe to blue. All right, all right. Now I am going to go back to my elements and technology. And because it saves it, you can kind of jump back and forth. All right. 
So we have this one too, and let's just scroll down for two hands. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, we can make that pretty neat. All right, and you know what? I'm gonna move this for the, to the side because I have an idea, and I'm gonna stretch this. Now you see this roll box? I can actually make this bigger by doing this. Pretty cool, right? So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to stretch it down just a little bit. Now I want to rotate it. Now doing so, I can rotate it like this, and I'm going to rotate it like this. What's the horizontal? It's a vertical flip, right? And I'm going to put, but I'm going to change it too, so it's not exactly vertical. All right, I'm going to have it kind of like that. It's 70 degrees, and I'm going to move it over. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing now. So now that I've created one, I'm going to create another the same size. I'm coming to flip. I'm going to flip horizontal. And then I'm going to kind of bring it to that 70 the same. So it's kind of the same. There we go. Now I want to drag it. And I'm using the purple lines that you see here to kind of make it the same. All right, there we go, and it's perfect. All right, and when I drag this down, I can stretch it out just a little bit. All right, I'm just gonna leave it right there. And you can see how I made my own custom design based with just this. Now, in the future, and you can actually group all of this together make this little drag and drop and I'm going to make all of it together. Now you see I've highlighted everything here. Right click on that and group it. So now every time you move this it moves together and you don't lose it. It will save you big time in the future. So you can see now we can kind of go through it pretty quickly, right? So now we can go here. I'm going to delete that and I can say technology again. I want to be more specific. I can say computer uh, because we deleted the computer, right? Ah, okay, let's look for keywords here. Let's see passwords. All right. So then we type in passwords. All right. Now you see that I've made those passwords. I'm going to delete that again. I don't like that. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to change the colors to this. Uh, let's grab some attention with the red too. Uh, or maybe you don't like these colors. We're going to click here and we're going to choose our own like orangey kind of color. There we go. And there we go. Now we have that color. All right. Now, passwords. Let's see. Delete that. No food or drink. I'm going to change that color to back to red. I'm going to delete that again. I'm making it kind of bland a little bit, but that's my choice. All right. No, no food or drinks. Let's say no food. And you can see that now we have these. Now this is a kind of a pre-select color. I need to change the color of the black here to like something. You see? Uh, so you can still change that color. Uh, change back to that orange even. Right based on that. But I'm going to keep black. Just to kind of show you that you can change the colors. And let's see. Delete. Wash hands. Now you see, now we're confined with wash hands. And this is our infographics. Um, that you're going to have uh, informational and we can drag this one and see there's so many different options even for these wash your hands and you can change let's see it's still black let's use something a little bit better right all right and so you can see that we're actually creating it fairly easy and just by changing them if these rules you agree with if you don't you just double select and then you you can delete the same and just add your own rules.
If you need more, then of course you have the page to start with. And so as you're coming through, you have them ready to rock and roll. All right, and so of course you continue until you find your design, and these are mine. Uh, so uh, you can just kind of like select the pictures. Let's see, only visit apps and websites for learning. Now we can save for learning. Learning, and you can see how, how many different things that they have uh, based on this. Now, of course, let's come here, let's drag and drop, make it small to fit in our box, and there you go. And let's see, internet's just a little slow. There we go. For learning, and we can change this too for blue. All right, let's see, we plug in our devices when we are not using it. So let's say plug in. You can see how I'm using this to catch really good ideas, and you can do the same. And see, we can choose that one or this one, right? And we can choose these how we want. And of course, you can see I can change it to how I see fit. Well, we are responsible digital students who use technology wisely. So I can say wise. And when I type in wise, here we go. A wise man, right? And so you can see it the same way. Or even better yet, here's a better one. We can kind of use Confucius. Kids will get a kick out of that. All right, and you can see it's Confucius. So, and now we've made our design, and there we go. We've already completed that. So just using the templates, we completely transformed this role differently. And so it's very easy. And so for infographics, it makes it super fast as well. So now once you get ready, uh, just click on the box up here at the top. I'm going to say tech room class rules, right? And because I didn't use anything uh, that is animated, I can just print for infographics the same. I can resize print your design as an infographic resize design. And there we go. Now this one I'm going to delete. And you can actually have them pay, or I'm sorry, you can pay for them to print your infographics as well. And you can give these all to your students as an infographic. Include envelopes, you can. And you can see, and of course, we can change them into something else if you're telling about. Of course, COVID, wash hands, different things, you can do that. All right, so if you don't want to pay for them to do it, you can click this little download button, download it as a PDF print, right, which gives it a better quality uh, as well. Uh, or you can do PNG, but I don't recommend. Uh, share it. You can share it with your friends, your classmates, you can, or I'm sorry, your uh workmates. Uh, you can present it. You can also publish it on Instagram, Facebook. So if you have your classroom school for this particular theme, uh, you can do it as well. And that is all. And so and that's it. You've created your infographics for the classroom of technology right here. So you can do that, of course, with any other kind of thing. So you see how to add text, you know how to change the colors, you know how to add, find the elements, everything that you need. The, the cool thing about the templates too is that Nothing changes, right? So you've heard me say this even in the last videos. Nothing changes as far as what you find, as far as your elements, the uploads, photos, all of the tools that you're using uh, here. You're going, it's going to be the same. What the template really does, Lyle, is the size of what you're designing, right? So here you can see that it's a infographic, so it's a small like little flip book, for example, right? So we can continue uh, to create pages. And it can be a page is the same, or front and back. And so you can do that. So it's just the size of what you're working with, so the border. So think of it as it that way. But everything else, when we're creating the charts, the elements, uh, if we're putting photos, text, if you kind of just play around with that and just see where they are, and it's very easy and very fast, you're going to have everything. You're going to be able to, if you design a t-shirt, you're going to be able to design a website. If you're going to be able to design uh, a coffee mug, you're going to be able to design a CV, right? So it just continues. All right, folks, that's all for today. I'll catch you again soon. Drop a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see in our upcoming videos, and I will see you again soon.
Ciao.